Hello, this short video is going to show you how to set up multi-factor authentication on your phone. On your screen, you'll see two windows. On the left is my web browser. On the right is my uh, iPhone. Um, this could be done with an Android device as well as an iPhone. So the first thing I'm going to do is in my web browser, I'm going to start from the Wake Tech website. I'm going to click on Logins and I'm going to go to Employee Webmail. Now when I do that, I'm already signed in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the upper right corner, click on my name, and I'm going to sign out. And give that a moment. Now I'm going to go back to the Web Wake Tech website, click on Logins, and go back to Employee Webmail. And now I'm going to be prompted to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Grab my password here. All right. Now you should be seeing a screen like this when you sign in. If you don't, that means that multi-factor or MFA registration has not been turned on for your account yet. So you should stop and, and wait until you do start to see this prompt. Now. You'll notice it tells me I could skip this process for now. I have 14 days uh, before it becomes required. But we want to go ahead and complete the registration process now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And it's going to take me to the first step. And the first step is to install an app on your phone. So on the right, on my iPhone, I'm going to go to the App Store. And I'm going to search for Authenticator. So A-U-T-H, and I can go ahead and select that. On Android device, it's the Google Play Store, same concept. But what you're looking for is this Microsoft Authenticator. It's blue with the white padlock. Now, I've already installed it on my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and click Open to open it. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to ask me if, I, if it can send notifications. You want to allow this. The reason is when you go to sign in, it's going to notify you on your phone. And so it needs to notify you so that you can allow the sign-ins. So I'm going to go ahead and click Allow, and then OK. And I don't want to set up for a personal account, so I'm just going to skip. Um, I don't need to do any of those, so I'm going to click Skip again. And yes, I do want to add a work account. So I'm going to go ahead and say Add Work Account. And it's going to ask for access to my camera. Now back in my web browser, I'm going to click Next, and Next again, and there's going to be a little QR code here. So I have to click OK on my phone so that my phone can scan that code on my screen. So I'm going to press OK. It's going to give me a camera, and I'm going to point it at that code on my screen, and it's going to add it to my app. So now you can see on the right on my phone, that uh, account has been added in my application. So I'll, now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click Next on my computer again. And it's going to actually test. So you'll see now on my phone, it's saying that there's a sign-in. Do I want to approve it or deny it? Well, I'm going to tap on Approve. And it's going to say, this has been approved. So I'm going to click Next. Next it's going to ask me to register a phone number. You could do your desk phone, which is what I'm going to do here in just a moment, or you could do um, the phone number of your cell phone or let's say your home phone. Um, this is meant to be a backup method in case uh, for some reason the app's not working or maybe your cell phone's not available. So I'm going to actually use my desk phone. So I'm going to enter my number now. Six, five, eight, two, two. And I'm going to tell it to call me because my Wake Tech phone uh, does not support text messaging. And I'll click Next. And it's going to call me. So I'm going to go ahead and answer. Hello? Thank you for using the Microsoft sign-in verification system. Please press the pound key to finish your verification. So I press pound. Your sign-in was successfully verified. And I'm good. So my call was answered and registered successfully. If you had chosen to do a text message, it would text a number to you that you could enter on the screen. That works as well. So now I'm going to click Done. 
and I'm complete. So now I'm just back to a normal sign-in process and you don't have to do anything else at this point.